We're back with DIY finalist number five. Oh, I'm not saying the best is for last. I'm just saying no. she's dessert. We're That's all, what you are. Which is it. usually the best. No, I'm kidding, that. I'm kidding. I have, and this is no pun intended, I have become glued to all of you guys. Oh. I really have. Oh. This has been there wonderful. you go, Julie. And our first ever Home and Family <laughs> Ultimate Craft Off. Now, our family is standing off to the side. They are judging. They are very carefully wow. watching your delivery and your technique and okay. your process. Um, and they're going to help us decide who our winner is going to be. Our rules of this competition, to remind you, are very simple. Uh, was to go out and create a 4th of July themed DIY using $150 that we gave you, a little shopping time and eight hour build time. So with that information and with that pocket, your money line, or your pocket line with that money, you were inspired to create what? I made a set of 4th of July, but they're year round usable, bangles with exchangeable dangles. So they say oh, life. Bangles with dangles. Right. Yes. Oh, it's even star, fun to say. Star Spangled oh. Bangles with dangles. And they That's a t-shirt. Life, liberty, and happiness. I love that. Oh. And Margo, you worked really hard on these. I did. You went out shopping. You ran into a few little cortaps. Tassel, what do you call it? You got it. You had a tassel. <laughs> tassel a craft a cra <laughs> catastrophe. I mean, yeah. the words that you coined are genius. <laughs> I dropped uh, by and I checked in on you, you as well. Did. And we have some video of that. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right. These are fun. One stop shop. Yes. There's so many left. <laughs> we did it. Hi, Margo. Hey, Debbie. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm having a little tassel hassle. A tassel a hassle. Yes. I was going to say, how's it going? But yeah. I guess you just told me. What do you mean a tassel hassle? A tassel hassle. So uh, in our seeking out materials yesterday, everything went very well. OK. The only little glitch we came upon was I want to add tassels to my project. And I found red, and I found blue, but there were no white. So I decided to go ahead and make my own. So I bought some embroidery floss. And I got a fork from the kitchen here, and I'm making tassels with a fork. So what are you making, though, for your 4th of July themed craft? Well, and that was the thing. I had to go within the theme, and I wanted to do something that was a little more personal, a little more, uh, you know, elevated, and something that you could wear. Are you stressed? Uh, well, I'm trying not to be. Am I making you? I stressed? got a lot. Of, maybe just a, just a little bit. Debbie. Am I stressing you out? Just a little. Margo, I'm gonna go so you can finish this. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Okay, good. I Me think too. you'll be able to finish. I'm getting the Zen test. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but you finished okay. your time. Oh, you finished your plenty of time. I did. I made it. So that's all that matters. Wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So from here we have to pound forward, right? right? Yes. Literally. Literally. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Pound. Oh. Julie. It doesn't stop. Literally. It doesn't. Yeah. Press on. For the high hat. You need to make an impression. Show us what we do from here. Okay. All right. So you need to get, gather all your supplies. We're using a steel stamping block, a hammer. The first thing you do is you want to find the center point. Use a non-permanent marker. Mark it. I use washi tape because that way I can kind of see what I'm doing and I write the letters on the washi tape. Start in the center. Work left to right. You want to make sure the stamps align properly. Rock it on. Make sure it's in full contact and give it one good hit. That's a brass hammer, so it really works oh, lovely. Isn't that cool? So there's oh. our words. And then to make it pop, I use a little thing called stamp enamel, which is an acrylic enamel medium. You can use acrylic enamel paint, Sharpie, but you can see that really makes the letters stand out. Yeah. Oh. And this is one of my favorite tools. It's a two-hole punch for metal. And you, you can pretty much punch any metal with Isn't it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, so I wow. add a little hole in the end so that we can add our dangles. You have to eat bangles. spinach before that, Popeye? Yeah. Wow. No, it's really, really easy. And then this is the fun fun with tassels and forks. So you <laughs> you wrap the fork with your thread, and now I'm gonna tie a little knot through the top tine. So get a nice tight knot, then you're gonna slide it off and cut with your scissors and kind of clean everything up, right? Now to conceal that knot, we're gonna add some wrapping, wrap it real tight, knot again, yeah. leave those long enough so they can go into the tassel, right? And then thread it into a jump ring. They get Opening it correctly. Yeah, yeah. you wanna wow. close it with tension. So you do that by brushing it past and letting it kinda of click into place. Then you don't have a space in between and you don't lose your dangle bangles. Look at that. Yep, bangle. so now we're adding all of our little charms. Your and then our spring ring clasp so we can remove and change up. 
and that's all there is to it. By the way, wow, how yes. clever. Nice. I just would like to give you props for being incredibly clever and coming up with using a fork to make a tassel. Well, I can't take credit for that. That's kind of like an old craft trick. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's old hat. I know, so yeah. uh, Kim and I are the only ones who yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> the pioneers. You have to use the tools you have at hand. And oh. this don't tool is pretty cool, by yeah, the way. Okay, yeah. so this is the cool yeah, tool. This is the best part. So we've got these flat strips of metal, but they're not really bracelets yet, right? Yeah, okay. But this is a bracelet bender bar. And you're a just bracelet gonna bender bar, they exist. I did not even know. Yes, this. I know. Yeah. 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 This is a cool new tool. Oh, and you call it all about the cool tool. Sorry, she's just, no, it's okay. You want to pick is... that up? She just dropped some knowledge. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, don't feel bad. This is a new tool. It's a cool new tool. So you just slide it into this little lip and you want to secure it with your thumb and forefinger. And then you can use, you use your palm or your thumb and you're going to bend it over a little bit. Work it back and forth. Bend it a little bit. Oh, that's easy. Work it back and forth. Bend a little bit. You're so strong. Oh, but you don't want to bend it all at one Fling time it across around. You're doing both sides a little yeah, at a time? Yeah, because. Now here's the reason. Let me get the one last little bend. Here okay, we go. Okay, okay, okay. So, and then gorgeous. you can kind of adjust it with your fingers like this. But if you do it one like really fast, you end up with a kind of catawampus, oh, kind of funky look. That is fine. Yeah, Which you can still it. fix. I would still Jane. wear it. Yeah. Can I try? Yeah, so go now ahead and give it a try. Here's the real test, Margo. Yeah. Yeah. I could do this. So Anybody could do this. This is what's going to be cattywampus. Here. See, that one's jankety. This one will be cattywampus. Here and secure it really, and then press it. There you, you go. go. Oh, what you that's good. Back and forth. Oh my gosh. You're totally rocking it, girl. It is officially doable. If it's Debbie really can do doable. It. Well, she was struggled like with this. Velcro yesterday, but now she's, there. <laughs> she's I really. She's making real crafter in two days. Well, let's slow down, okay? Let's yeah. not, let's <laughs> take, not it take it easy. To that How much point, does this okay? cost you, top to bottom? Mark? Uh, so the tools to get into metal stamping about fifty dollars, but lifetime. Uh, these right. ba bangles were four dollars each. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm going to throw it over to the judges because they're sitting here. I know Ken was like impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Who wants to jump at the question I I first of all I think we are all uh, excited when we see something we haven't seen oh, before right. and since we didn't know this tool existed yeah I feel like this opens up a whole new area yeah. but yeah not just for 4th of July I yeah. love that but I can use this around. all but year did you round. feel you were taking a risk like doing yeah, something I did. this is very different than what everyone else has done uh, yeah. why so, did you take that risk okay so I decided to do something kind of smaller and personal because this is something you can do with the family my daughter my husband we all make metal stamp jewelry together and I wanted something that you could wear and make a statement without saying a word Right. It's interesting I, too. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I just no, I was going to say I, I think it's really clever to have done it this way because what I think we do on the show or what we try to do on the show is to use the the sort of moments throughout our life these these punctuated moments as a way to teach something that you could use for anything else. So right. you use Fourth of July as a medium through which you could teach us all this yes. other stuff that we could yeah. do for a gift or Mother's Day. So I just think it's really clever. Yeah. And I know I gorgeous. know for sure Kim likes this because as it's our beauty joy. gal. Yes. There you Yay. go, Kim. I made that for you. Oh, she's <laughs> wow. She's giving you. Life. Oh, I love uh, Margo, it. thank you so much.